Welcome to another episode of Skybounds. And in this episode, we're going to continue working on our vault. I got some work done off camera, so we're going to go down here and take a look at that. All the way down here. This, this is it. This is our collection point. This is all ready to be cleared out and sorted. So what we're going to work on is the sorting process. I have a few ideas of things that I want to put in place that every vault should have. First of all, I need to put a door in here, don't I? But I can get back here so I can unclog anything that gets clogged and get into almost all the chests. I can't get into these chests up in here because I just get to the hoppers. But that, that's, that's fine. That's fine. These chests shouldn't have things in them that clog. It's the hoppers that I'd have to get into. So. It's looking good. I really can't get up into there. Which is intentional. And if I really need to get into the chests in the back, I can break these stairs and get into them. This goes up here so that I can get into these hoppers and this chest, which is attached to my cobble gen for maintenance purposes. And underneath these are the final line of uh, chests, so I can get into them by breaking those. All right. Now, before I start, I'm going to open up these chests. Normally, I do it at the end. But I don't want them in my inventory while I'm doing our build. So we're going to head and open these. Maybe we'll get something good. Oh look, there's an immortal shard in that one. Totally not going to get it. That sucked. <laughs> Five minutes. Orb of immunity. There's another one here, but I won't get that neither. I'm not that lucky. Orb of Flight, right? Nope. Could he use the Orb of Flight, though? Kind of need that. There we go. Final one. Savage. There's lots of them in this one. I think two of them? Totally didn't get this one either. 20 minute orb of immunity? Good lord, I'm saving that for a challenge. <laughs> Talk about overpowered. Alright. Drop these in here for now. So we need to get some items for this build. And I need an orb of flight. Gotta keep reminding myself to get the orb of flight or I'll forget it. Probably gonna forget it anyway. Where did I put my hoppers? I also need chests. Chests and hoppers. Let me grab these. Start some uh, more stone going. Hoppers might be upstairs. Grab us a two-hour orb of flight. Here's some hoppers. 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 There should be more than enough hoppers, right? Grab that. Grab these. Yeah. I think it's more than enough hoppers. Oh, my lord. The jump boost disappeared. I don't know why it randomly does that. Just just randomly. You don't need no jump boost anymore. Alright, now over here we will grab this, this, and we will make a stack of stone. I'm probably not going to do the actual building of the... For the, for the love of deuce... <laughs> Do something! Uh, the actual building of the design that I have in mind. 
I will probably just put in the hoppers and explain how it's going to work. Now, obviously, the um, actual vault area where the storage of the valuable items will be will be down a level from this room right here. Not necessarily underneath this area, but down a level from it. Now, here we'll have separate, like, sorting systems. Like, we'll start, like, here. We'll have one. Then maybe here we'll have one. Here we'll have one. That's totally not even. Maybe every other one. Can I get away with that? Every other one? If I fill this in... And I do it here, 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 here. And that's two away. Eh, it's going to have to do. So basically what it is is I need some stairs. Maybe eight of them. Okay, I lost that one. And this one. Upside down stair. I really want to flip that around the other way. So it's time to use that orbital flight. And you get outside. All right, let me out. There we go. And since this is actually two, we'll use this as our door to get in and out of the build. All right. Now these will be things that we sort into, like one will be like uh, weapons and armor that I want to keep, one will be like tools I want to keep, the other one will be like valuables like um, diamonds, emeralds, um, iron, things like, things like that will get sorted out, like um, notes and whatnot, um, schematics, uh, ba basically anything paper-wise would get sorted out, maybe enchanted books in the other one. You know, different things. And if I have to, I can put them off to the side because I believe that's down far enough. Or maybe not. But I could use this side over here. I just have to knock out and move the stairs. So, different things for that. Now, this, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit more confusing because this needs to be a station. What do I mean by that? Well, whoops, that needs to, yeah. This should be facing down. And then every single one of them needs to face into that. I need a platform to stand on to make this easier. All right. My platform is not big enough. There we go. That should be big enough. All right, now that that platform is up and running, 
Bam, that should be facing down as well. Basically, what this will do is when I get equipment that I don't want to keep, I will blacksmith it in the center of this room. And when I have overflow, it'll go into these hoppers and down into the system to go to the vault area. Or part of the vault area, mind you. So, from over here, I guess? Yes, over here, these will go into a hopper chain that goes into the next room. And this will go into the same hopper chain that goes to the next room. And that is where we'll start our organization. I think it looks good so far. I need to bring this hopper chain out, which means I need to face them. Seems to be right here. Right there. Bam. Down one, down one. Come on. There we go. This one actually has to be fixed to be, there we go. Otherwise it wouldn't work. And I'd be like, why isn't it working? <laughs> Alright, we've got a problem. I need to deviate this away from this hopper. So... Right here should be between... Whoops. There we go. Flying and placing things that I have to shift click on is very annoying. All right. And that is that. Now, I need hoppers extending outward from here. I don't know why I use stairs for that. All right. Now I've got to decide where I want this room. Obviously, it's going to be around here somewhere, and it's going to be a floor down. Probably a floor down from here. I need it to actually be below this line right here. Maybe accessible from here, like from stairs. It sounded kind of like a slime, didn't it? 
How strange. Anyway. I want the vault to be big. I do not want it to be small. Like, maybe a foot plan the same size as the room above it. Giving it some thought. Maybe I don't want it to be that big. Thinking that'll be the height of the room. How far over do I want it to go? Just get the frame in, and then I can plan out where I want the chest to go and run the hopper chains. It's not going to be a small room, it's going to be more of an oblong room. Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a pretty decent sized room there, especially with as long as it's going to be. Well, um, I just ran out of stone. Why the heck do I have a lever back here?
I've no idea what that is for. <laughs> Some of the random things you find that I'm sure I had a reason for, but can't think of what it is at the moment. All right, so I think the quickest way to get back to where I was building would be around this way. All right, this should actually be the last of the oh, one more row and then that'll be the last of the frame then I have to decide how to get down here where am I going to put the stairs in to get to the vault all right work on the hopper chains now. I want these to come this way and down here behind. Alright. Well then, apparently I'd landed and didn't know it. This is going to drive me crazy. It's not a frame. There we go. So, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there, I believe. Yes. Simply because that'll make putting in the hopper chain easier. <laughs> I think that's the right height. Yep. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to need to uh, put in more of these. I'm running out of stone, though. I'm going to be careful, which is why I'm going to be doing a lot of my building... Uh, of the actual vault off camera because I've got to mine up a bunch of more cobble. Despite how much cobble I seem to mine up, I always seem to run out. Alright, now these need to go down. Right.
Oh, I nailed it. Ha <laughs> ha, this is going to be a lot more difficult. If I do just straight up like that, it should be placing down. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! It's not difficult at all. Straight up, down, down. All right, so this is the beginning of my hopper chain. Let's uh, fly down here. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Now this is four high, so I'm going to want the chests on two, so I only have one before the floor. So... There. 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 It's not a hopper. All right, now the chest just go in here, two ways, too long like that. The upside down stairs again. So I just need to remove that, 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 that that put in some hoppers there we go that's that hopper chain now I need to put in a hopper chain for this which needs to be from here, going down. Whoop, down too far. Right there. That's my hopper chains. Just need to put in the chests, the infrastructure on the vault thing. All right. Grab me some wood, maybe a little bit more stone because I want more like walk area down here. All right. This is kind of how I want my vault set up, but it's not exactly. I mean, I'm going to have to do some changes to it. I mean, this is this is basic of basic. Obviously, I'm going to have a more deep sorting system from here. Like, we'll, it'll branch out, like, all the different valuable ores and things. We'll go into their own area, like, all iron to one area, all gold to one area, all diamonds to one area, all emeralds to one area. As it is now, all of them will go into the same chest and I'll have to manually sort it out. But I want that sorting to be automatic, and it'll probably be to a precious resource area over there, and then whatnot. But for now, 
for now, this looks this looks pretty good. I have to get some chests in here. I think I got some wood up here. Yes. Thirty one chests, that should be enough. Hopefully. All right. First chest, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Now I just have to put in the, the walls and whatnot for down here. I have to get in here. I believe my door is actually over here. Oh, this hopper chain is not needed. I'll leave it in just in case I have a, unless I make a decision for that. Bam, 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 bam. All right. And as I said before, this hopper chain is not actually needed. Then the decision on this is this is hideous, but This is not. And it gives me a clear indication of, okay, this is where I need to stand to break things apart because underneath here is where the hoppers are. So that's it for Vault Part 2. Um, there probably will be a Part 3, but it won't be right away because the system as it stands now is functional. I mean, it'll work once I get that uh, that area down there um, all filled in so that it's not a... Uh, where it's usable, because right now there's no stairs to it. I have to have a like a, an orb of flight activated to even get down there. But uh, once it's filled in and usable, then this is functional. All the gear will go to one chest. All the uh, orbs of flight and whatnot will go to one chest. It'll it it'll be usable. And even I might branch this off and make some sort of sorting system for this one right here, so that all the ores are multiple. We'll see. I will figure it out. I'm sure of it. But up here, I need to, I need to actually work on the, this area over here. I need to put in a farm. 
I need to put in a farm because I need to get cows going. I need to get cows going because I need to, down here, put in picture frames of what everything gets sorted into, what it's for and whatnot. Because right now, it's, I have no way of telling what, what I'll be putting in here other than just personally memorizing. But if I put picture frames above it of what it is, I'll know. Like, this thing works right now. Like, it'll it'll totally work. Like, one of them will probably be spells. And the spells will probably be this one, say, right here. And I'll put the spells in. Bam. And they'll slowly disappear. Because, you know, the hoppers in the sky in, in uh, Skybounds are not quick. I'm thinking maybe I will do a, a stair system from like I can't do it from this side, but I could do it from over here. And it would wrap around and go down there. That would totally work. Maybe I'll do it even one more over. So it's not like completely butted up against this, like this. Yeah, 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 I'll definitely do that. Anyway, I will be working on uh, the building part of it off cam. This is uh, Unfault Part 2. It's uh, turning out to be really interesting. It's, it's different from my other builds. Like I said, I wanted this sky base to be like all indoor kind of like thing rather than outdoor and it's really it's really working i'm i'm really liking the aesthetic that it gives off and i really need to work in covering up this uh this cactus farm which is nearly full Alrighty then. I will see you next time on Skybounds. See you next week. Bye.